Jaha, kalimaa. Druidien paikka. Kyllä nyt druidit tykkää niinku puutarhan hoidosta. Greetings, traveler. Is there something I can do for you? Do you need a poultice or perhaps an herbal tea? Tuliko tässä lisärissä mitään pelimekaniikka TMS-päivityksiä vai onko se vain pelattavaa sisältöä? Tässä tuli korttipeli, mitä viime lähetyksessä itse asiassa pelattiin. Tämmöinen keräilykorttipeli, jota sä voit lätkiä ympäri Tamrielia. Koska ilmeisesti kaikki MMOt tarvii jonkun tämmöisen minipeli. Ah, yes. The curious mage and the stern warrior. They stopped by. When I mentioned that rogue knights had been making the countryside dangerous, they decided to investigate. I told them where I'd last seen the knights, and they set out at once. Ymmärrän täysin. Niinpä, siis se on aika jännä ilmiö. Pakaa takaisin tähän juoneen. Okei, eli Rosvo-riitarit on ongelmana. I'll mark the spot on your map. I saw a band of the knights gathering there the last time I went out to gather herbs. They forced me to retreat without them. I warned Valesia and Quentin it might be dangerous. Eli magien killa ja taistelijoiden killan edustajat on niin kuin varmaan kateissa. We follow the old ways. Some call us priests of Ifre, but that is only part of our truth. We are children of the land. Like the weird, guides and teachers to those who live in harmony with nature. People were not meant to bow before crowns of metal. Our people, the Breton people, went astray when they forgot the ways of nature. Stone walls and empty titles separate folk from the true way. We help them remember what their ancestors once knew. Some circles see it differently, of course. Circles are fellowships of like-minded druids. Each interprets Ifre's will differently, but druids of the same circle share common traditions and goals. I belong to the Stone Lore Circle. We seek to teach others by the example of our work. Yes, travel far enough in the archipelago and you may meet druids of the Elder Tide or Firesong Circles. Although the Firesong rarely leave their island, and you should be wary of the Elder Tide. They do not like city folk or mainlanders. The weird are Breton witches. They follow teachings and practices that share a common ancestry with the Druids. Whereas we left the mainland, they remained behind to safeguard the forests of High Rock. We have more in common than we have differences. The biggest that you would notice is that the weirds are all female. While we druids accept all genders in our ranks, okay. and we organize in circles of common beliefs, while the weird sisters form covens. Oh, you'll find druids throughout the sisters' archipelago. Not too many on the mainland, though. Long ago, we druids left Tamriel and its troubles behind us. But here, our ancient ways survived. Our forebears among the Bretons believed civilization should live alongside nature, not tame it. In the early years of the Dereni hegemony, they struggled for the soul of High Rock. They lost. Driven into okay. exile, the Druids left to seek a place where they could live according to their beliefs. Their wanderings brought them to the sisters. The followers of the weird remained behind. They walked a different path than the Druids. Eli siis niitä pahiksia. Tää on mielenkiintoista.
Yeah. Over here, I I could use some help. No, tietysti magillaan tai <laughs> näkymättömyysjuoma mukana. You're the one Lady Arabelle spoke to at the docks, aren't you? You volunteered to help investigate the ships that failed to reach port. It's good to see a friendly face, especially after what just happened. Il General Quentin accompanied me to visit Druid Ravana. When she told us about rogue knights in the area, Quentin was eager to investigate. It was the Ascendant Order. They overpowered Quentin and knocked me senseless. They captured Quentin. I don't think so. The Ascendant Order was definitely trying to take us alive. That's the only reason I had the opportunity to throw up a shroud spell and avoid being captured myself. Did you come out here to find us? And Ravana told you where to find us. Good. Now, we must rescue Quentin. I may have a way to find where the Ascendant Order took him, but we should get to safety first. Meet me back at Druid Ravana's hut. Lady Arabelle and I had dealt with him on the mainland. The Order tried to stop the conference by striking at delegates before they even left town. Okay. We stopped them, but not before the previous guild delegate was killed. Then they appointed me. I came to talk to Ravana about arcane and related topics, and Quentin decided to tag along. When Ravana told us about rogue knights, I feared it might be the Ascendant Order. Quentin wanted to investigate. Turned out I was right. No, we came upon them just as they were finishing an attack on a caravan. But I assume they recognized us or decided our station warranted capture rather than elimination. But you came with a warning, didn't you? What did you find out? Wrecked the ships? How in oblivion could they coordinate such a thing? Clearly, the Ascendant Order is aware of the plans for Lord Bakaro's conference. They're here in force and causing more trouble than we anticipated. Kuka pystyis nostamaan myrskyn? Maarmerit pystyy. If they recognized hmm. us as delegates, there's all sorts of ways they could hold that over the conference. If they just assume we're rich nobles, ransom is always Maarmerit an option. Maarmerit kyllä tykkäis pissiä, pissiä kaikkien muroihin. You can really say what those helmeted bastards are thinking. I understand, Valesia. Do what you must to find your friend. I owe you a debt of gratitude for coming to my aid. It seems once again that Lady Arabelle chose well. Now to see if I can find Guild General Quentin, and by extension, the rogue knights who carried him away. I enchanted the invitation medallions that each delegate carries, so I can trace my own magic to locate Quentin. Now let me see. They move to north and east, across the lock. I see a chapel, crypts, maybe abandoned? No question. Quentin is there. Lady Arabelle asked me to try as soon as we realized the ships were late. I wasn't able to make a connection with those medallions. Maybe they were too far away, or some other magic interfered with my scrying, but I wasn't able to detect anything. No, we need to return to Lady Arabelle and share this information. Then we can mount a rescue for Guild General Quentin. I'll meet you at Lady Arabelle's little pavilion. What she calls her... Yeah. Olisiko se sivukuestin aika, tai taisi olla sivukuestin aika. Edessä lisäs tuossa Blackwoodissa oli... Taas. Tää onkin niinku kymmenes kerta. Joo, oli, oli kuesti, mikä perustui täysin tuon Stibbonsin. Eli tää on niinku yhden aatelisnaisen niinku, äh, henkilökohtainen palvelija. Niin se kuesti perustui tämän tyypin rääkkäämiseen ihan täysin. Put, putsle, missä rääkättiin Stippoon. Mä olen modicum of assistance. Do you happen to have any experience dealing with ancient curses? Tää on ihan alu, aluokan sähläystä varmaan taas tapahtuu. Yes, yes, of course. Milady always says I misplaced my head if it wasn't attached. Now where was I? Oh, oh, yes, the curse. My mistress, Lady Laurent, was hired to help prepare this site for some important meeting or another. Then disaster struck. 
Well, usually I'm the one who stumbles into trouble, but this time Milady found the old chest. It was so unlike her to open it herself, and that's when she activated the curse. <laughs> I'd gladly get give you my get annual get stipend if you help me save Lady Laurent. Oh, thank you. You've lifted a great weight off my shoulders. Uh, come along. Lady Laurent is oh, along the southern coast. Do prepare yourself. The curse has made Milady a different person. Literally. <laughs> She's been possessed by an ancient sea captain. Well, I'm far from an expert in such matters, but it started as soon as Milady opened that old chest. Lady Laurent immediately changed and started acting like an ancient sea captain. She's certainly not her usual demanding self. Technically, it's an islet. All flags islet, to be precise. It has some historical significance, but that's more Milady's area of expertise than mine. I believe it used to be some sort of monument or museum. Just that, I noticed a lot of historical plaques scattered about. They talk about the All Flags Navy, which I think was rather famous in its day. The Society of the Steadfast hired Lady Laurent to preserve the site prior to their big meeting. I couldn't say. I'm just a meager put-upon manservant, after all. I may have heard a mention or two about influential visitors and an important discussion, but I didn't really pay much mind. <laughs> Lady Laurent keeps me very busy, you understand. Lady Laurent was hired to preserve any items and structures of historical import and make the islet safe for the upcoming meeting. They knew they had a problem with undead, but they never mentioned anything about an ancient curse. Because as soon as she opened the old chest, her posture changed. She started to swear like a sailor. Claimed she was the captain of a great sailing vessel and ordered me around like a lowly deckhand. It was even more degrading than usual. Mostly because the sea captain rambled about the curse of the islet and the curse that binds his spirit, etc., etc. Made the hair on my neck stand on end. To think there's someone in there with my lady. Oh, it's very troublesome. You've never heard of the famous historian and treasure hunter Lady Clarice Laurent? Some of the most important discoveries of the age can be directly attributed to Milady. Tätä voi löytää melkein jokaisesta pelin alueelta. Now, about that sea Not very much, I'm afraid. He's boisterous, confident, and rather bawdy, if I'm being honest. I detest him. And I can't abide such a depraved individual taking up residence in my mistress. It's unseemly. Yeah. The All Flags Navy oli siis laivasto, joka ensimmäisellä ajalla äh, seilasi tuonne noin Trassian la, äh, riifille ja upotti Sloadien niin kuin, tornin. Sloadit on met, meri, merimatoja, jotka tykkää nekromantiasta. Ja se on tämän, näin lä, äh, lännessä tämä saariryhmä, niin tämä on luonnollisesti varmaan ne on täällä näin käynyt huoltamassa. No. Okay, me päästiin tänne näin. Tässä tuosta on veishrine. You open my old hope chest? Oh, that's not good. Lady Clarice Laurent. I'm Lady... No, I am someone else. Captain? Is that you in there, my love? Ah, oh, first a curse and now a ghost. Oh, talk to Lady Laurent, please. I'm much too upset for rational discourse. <laughs> my darling Jan. Seeing you makes my loins stir and my... Ow! <laughs> oh, get out of my head! Is that... Oh, what a ridiculous question. Wait, who are you? Did my hapless manservant actually manage to find someone willing to help? Oh, good. I seem to have unleashed some sort of curse when I opened this chest. 
It's the sea, Captain. Stibbins and I were exploring when I spotted this hope chest partially buried in the sand. I usually let my manservant deal with such things, but for some reason, I felt compelled to open it. That's when... when... I remember my ship, a proud vessel, and my valiant crew. There was a storm, I think, but I can't remember my name. Ooh, interesting. My body didn't have quite this many tempting curves the last time I checked. <laughs> Why, I'm Captain... Captain... Uh, Kinnereth's R sits right on the tip of my tongue. Well, never mind that. Come, Jan. We must hither to the big tree. I promised to meet you there, and now that I have a body, nothing can stop me. Oh, dear! Follow Lady Laurent. She's in no condition to wander off on her own. Did my love say we were to meet by the big tree? I remember. Something. But everything seems caught in a fog. I fear I cannot tell you much. The curse has something to do with forgetfulness. Okay. And plays havoc with the memories of all it touches. Including me. I remember a little. My name is Jan Emery. I know I've been waiting a very long time for my love to return to me. That sounded like him. Inside that noble lady. I think so? Oh, why is it so hard to remember anything? Damn this curse. It puts me all out of sorts. Please, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It upsets me so. Be gone, brother. The I ancient sea captain has brought you and I into his fancies. He thinks I'm his brother, third or... Milady, you're confused. Oh, there you are, my turtle dove. Come to me, my darling. I've missed you so. The ghost woman. She's inside you, friend. The captain thinks you're her. Talk to Milady and play along. See what you can learn. Ah, oh, fair Jan. How I've longed to hold you close again. You were never far from my thoughts, even while I sailed across the stormy seas. And here I am, just as I promised, back from the war for an intimate rendezvous under our favorite tree. You tease me, my little vexen. You know I am a captain in the magnificent All Flags Navy. Perhaps the best in the entire fleet. Ah! Oh. But I do enjoy our little amusements. What game are we playing this time, pray tell? Uh, All Flags Navy. Itse asiassa osa aluksista löytyy Gold Harborista, niin Molag Ballin valtakunnasta ihan peruspelissä. Että se ei tainu ihan mennä täysin putkeen. Alas, Yhdyvimeinen voitto ehkä sloadeista. Those sload are terrible creatures. Oh. But know this! Every time I set sail, I do it for you. I cannot abide another day with my love in dire peril from the threat of Thras's monsters. <laughs> now I know you jest, my sweet. To my crew, I am captain. But to you, I am... Ow! 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 Oh! Get out! Oh, yes, it's me. At least for the moment. Take my useless manservant and go to the lighthouse. The plaques there tell the story of the All Flags Navy. Maybe they contain a clue as to how to break this damn curse. Off with you. Take Stibbins and investigate the lighthouse. I'll be along in a moment. I need to compose myself. It's clear that this randy sea captain has strong feelings for the ghost that's inside you. Maybe we can use that. Let me ponder. <sighs> no idea. But I could see her inside you while the captain was at the helm, as it were. She was giving me, him, the puppy dog eyes. Very disconcerting. Anyway, to the lighthouse. It's clear this is somehow tied to the All Flags Navy. Oh, you do realize it's taking everything I have to keep that foul-mouthed, lascivious sea captain at bay. Go read the plaques and learn the history for yourself. Or maybe you can get that ghost inside you to help. I'll be along shortly. Oh yes, the lighthouse. It, it's full of historical information. What a good idea, milady. Right. But then I can have a here.
Monument Lighthouse. Examine the historical facts and see what you make of them. Ah, the old lighthouse. I remember it well. Eli, eli tää oli niin kuin rutto pandemia ensimmäisellä ajalla 2200. Enem, enemmän kuin puolet Tamrielin väestöstä kuoli siihen. Aika paljon. Siihen on oikeasti super, superrutto ollut kyseessä. Ää... Ken ei tiennyt alussa, että mistä se ruttu oli tullut. <hah> Falinesti liikku, liikkuva kaupunki. Totta kai se kantaa ruttoa ympärinsä. Vaihtaa kolme kertaa vuodessa paikkaa. Okei, eli niin on Katsiittien valtakuntakin romahti siinä. 16 heimosta kahteen. Sitten ne saivat tietää, että Sloadit on... Pendu Olo, kolovialainen kuningas. Laivasto, laivasto niin kuin kaikista valtakunnista. Alessian keisari. Nimi pyyhitty pois jostain syystä. Tämä on niin kuin kokoomisalue ollut tälle laivastolle tämä. I remember the Baron Admiral quite fondly. Excellent leader. I would have followed him anywhere. And I suppose I did. Ah, what a sight. When the first ships of the All Flags Navy sailed into the upgraded harbor, I was aboard one of those vessels, and it was here that I met my lady love. Sama kolkuta laivaa. Argoniaan ja Bretoniaan ja kolovianlaisia haltijoita, kai sitten ja Redgardeja. Sotureita. Okei, ja Syrabein oli siis mukana tässä yrityksessä. Tämä tarvittiin tietää jo aikaisemmin. Paljon, paljon menetettiin tosiaan. Ison, ison myrskyn läpi. So many lost, but even as my ship sank beneath the waves, I knew that victory was in our grasp. Puolet puolet armadasta menetetti. Tobin Moorcroft. I know that name. My brother. Yes, yes, the master builder was my brother. Tobin Moorcroft. Oh, this is all that wretched scoundrel's fault. <gasps> the ghost I read woman. these plaques all the time. She's no longer inside you, my friend. See what she wants. I'm much too frightened to approach any such apparition. <laughs> <laughs> I read <laughs> these the plaques all the time. Pedaster. But I never remember a word. Just that history has forgotten my love, and even I can only remember bits and pieces. Until today, I remember Tobin Moorcroft, and I spit on his memory. I remember that he was a cad and a coward, a sorry excuse for a man. He was my beloved's brother, 
and the master builder of the All Flags Memorials. He carved the names into the garden plaque personally, but not my captains, not my love. I remember only glimpses, like a shadow moving across a wall. He was a sea captain, tall, strong, proud. He called me his little turtle dove, his safe port in a storm. Oh, I wish I could remember his name, or his touch, or his face. The All Flags. Yes, yes, I think that's right. That's what it says on these old plaques. Oh, I wish I could remember more. It's the curse, I fear. Gets into everything and muddies the water. Been that way ever since... Ever since... Tobin. Yes. Oh, okay. I refused that snake's advances. I was grieving in shock and in pain. And he demanded I betray my love for another man. How could I? It was too soon. You must help. I think it started at the inn. End this curse so I can remember. The, the, inn, the building at the center of the island? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go look. Ah, I remember this place. Jan and I shared many pleasant encounters beneath this roof before I set sail with the fleet. Oh, no, sir. Absolutely not. <sighs> Lady Jan seems to think one of us is someone untoward. Talk to her, my friend. I don't need to that out. It's not that nice. It's not that nice. It's not that No, Tobin, you cannot offer me a drink, and I have absolutely no intention of dancing with you. I'm here with my captain, and I have no patience for the advances of his foolish younger brother. Away with you, foul sir. <laughs> Jan is mine, little brother. Go play with your hammer and chisels. My sweet deserves a night to remember before I set sail from Port Sargo. A night to remember? But, but... But anyway, uh, uh, Port Sargo, that's the old dock on the eastern shore of this very islet. Okay. That I pass a mihinkään. This is valid that was the aga iso, iso määrä niinku suljettuja huone huoneita ja ovia ja näin ispäin tässä pelissä. The ruins of Port Sargo, somewhat disconcerting as long deserted places tend to be, but there's a plaque. See what it says. Okay, Tos. Hmm, the pristine halberd. The captain's name has been scratched off the plaques on the pedestal and on the wall. Here to see me off, little brother? How touching. Baron Admiral Bendu, my vessel is ready to sail as soon as you give the word. Baron Admiral Bendu Olo was in charge of the All Flags Navy. Pretend to be the Admiral, and perhaps the captain will reveal his name. Baron Admiral. After years of preparation, we're finally ready to show those slug bastards what for. My ship was one of the first to join the fleet, and today it's ready. Give the word and we'll set sail on the next wave. Why, just the finest warship ever to set sail from High Rock. Surely you remember the name of... of... Um... Why, yes, of course! The pristine Halberd! The pride of the Breton fleet! We've helped protect this rock during the long years of build-up. 
Now we're ready to be the instrument of vengeance, just as you planned. The captain? Why, I am the captain! My name? Why, I'm... Renwick Moorcroft, captain Damn of the pristine one. Halberd and proud member of the All Flags Navy. Uh, out! <sighs> no, I'm Lady Laurent. He's Captain Renwick. But why haven't you broken this curse yet? I'm not sure how much longer I can fight off the captain. Talk to Stibbins and end this already! Captain Renwick Moorcroft, my beloved's true name. You must add my beloved's name to the main garden monument before we forget it again. That's not going to happen. Only the hammer and chisels of I, Tobin Moorcroft, can carve those tablets. I hid them where they will never be found. My big brother, so proud, so famous, but not anymore. I made sure he'll never be remembered. Stibbons? What a ridiculous name. I'm Tobin Moorcroft, master builder of the All Flags Navy Monuments. My work, unlike my brother's, will be remembered forever. Everything on Monument Islet. Well, I had help. Apprentices, assistants, laborers. But the design and the fine detail work? That's all mine. The finest hammer and chisel in the world. I paid a small fortune for the enchantments, but you'll never discover where I hid... Out, you vile creature! Never fear, I'm myself again. And better yet, I know where this Tobin hid his tools. I saw it while he was inside my head. To the graveyard, my friend! That's what I saw in Tobin's mind. Dig there. No, not my tools. Dig somewhere else. You have the tools? Quickly, carve my beloved's name into the plaque at the Memorial Garden. Once his name is added to the Central Monument, we will never forget him again. Dedication ceremony? For me? How exciting! Captain Renwick Moorcroft of the Pristine Halberd. Place my beloved's name where it belongs. Oh, you do it, friend. My hands are shaking. I'm so nervous. Well done, my turtle dove. You saved my memory. Now we can be together for all eternity. I did have a little help, Renwick, my love. Now come, my darling. We have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> my big brother, the famous sea captain, wins again. How typical. Stibbins! Did that really happen? Did that really happen? Did I have the spirit of some ancient all-flags navy captain residing inside my head? My memory is all a jumble. How do I feel? Like some virile man was stomping around inside my body with his oversized boots and manly urges. It was unsettling. And, if I'm being totally honest, somewhat arousing. Oh, never mind that. My manservant wants a word with you. But please hurry. I have a task for Stibbins that needs to be dealt with post-haste. Oh, thank you, my friend. I never would have been able to save Lady Laurent without your help. Oh, yes. Of course, the effects may linger for a time, but the worst of it is over. And we righted a wrong of history. Captain Renwick Moorcroft's role in the All Flags Navy has been restored. Uh, but how is Lady Laurent? Is she all right? An urgent task? Oh, well, nothing ever changes. But I live to serve. Here. My annual stipend, just as I promised. Thanks again for saving Lady Laurent, ending the curse, and restoring a piece of the archipelago's history. Now I must see to me, lady.
Stibbins? Come here, my manservant. All this foolishness about forgotten love has given me an itch. I am in need of a good scratch. Milady, I could never... Uh, well, if you insist. <laughs> 